Hey, what's up guys? Today's the first video in a series that I'm going to make about core training using a Swiss ball. The exercise I'm going to teach you today is called the jackknife. The great thing about the jackknife is that it's an exercise that helps coordinate the stabilizers of the pelvis with the hip flexors. The hip flexors are a prime mover that needs to work in conjunction with the stabilizing effect of the transversus abdominis and the pelvic floor. Oftentimes, the hip flexor either has a tendency to overpower the lower abdominals, and the trans including the transversus abdominis and pelvic floor, and not allow those muscles to work in coordination with it. Or, some people have really weak hip flexors, and they need to do exercises that stimulate strength in the hip flexors. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the exercise, but I'm going to also reference it from the point of view of someone who has weaker abdominals and overpowering hip flexors, like I do, and also with someone who has very weak and long hip flexors. So the very first thing you're going to notice is that I've got this st stick in my hand. The way that we want to do any of these prone exercises is the same way that I teach when we do deadlifts, by putting the stick on the back and allowing there to only be a minimal curve or just enough to get your hand underneath the low back. Also the head, the mid back, and the butt should, be, should remain on the stick. I'm going to try my best to get this to stay on me, but usually it works best if you have a partner. I'm going to roll out into this ball to a push-up position. Now you don't have to use the stick, but I'm using it just to show you. You're going to have a few different people. You're going to have those who really curve the upper back, and they need to drop their shoulder blades down and pick their chest up. You're going to have people who are going to have really slouchy low backs, and they have an excessive curve in their low back. They need to tuck their butt under. And you have people that have a tendency to pick their head up. So, with that being said, we want to make sure that we just have a neutral spine when we do this exercise. From here, you simply bring the knees under your body. Now for me, the challenge is keeping my core tight by pulling my belly in. I pull my belly in. Otherwise, I'm going to have a tendency to do this. I'm one of those who have a tendency to have an anterior pelvic tilt or an excessive lumbar curvature. So I gotta almost tuck my butt under. <clears throat> Get rid of the stick. I gotta tuck my butt under and pull underneath. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the exercise from the perspective of someone who has a flat back or someone whose butt tucks under way too much. This person, you're going to need to emphasize sticking the butt out while keeping the chest up. So it's gonna be much more challenging for this person to do the exercise while maintaining a curve, as opposed to when I do it or someone that has a tendency towards my type of body, where they're gonna have to, the, the exercise needs to be done with a less of a curve in the low back. So someone who does this, the challenge is going to be to drop their hips. And here's the other thing, when you ask someone who has a flat back to stick their butt out, they're gonna have a tendency to do this. They're just going to want to extend their hips even further. The challenge for those people are to keep their hips up the height of their head. One last cue when doing this exercise, you want to keep your hands flat right in front of you. Make sure that you have the weight distributed evenly throughout your entire hands. You don't want to be too much on your outside of your hands or on some fingers and not others. Also, make sure that your elbows sort of turn back slightly. As opposed to being here, they sort of turn back slightly. That puts more pressure on your tricep as opposed to the often dominant pec minor that leads to thoracic kyphosis. I hope that helps. Throw it into your core training routine. Done.